So let's um, take a look back at our application and I'm gonna show you how we can introduce um, a legacy workflow, a sidecar into our, our mesh. So I'll point out here, we'll notice, let's see, let me make sure this is east, yeah. So our ratings has a little Kubernetes sign here. So that's because it is a pod, it's running in Kubernetes. It's uh, you know one of these guys right here. But let's actually introduce a version of this service that is running on um, a VM. So I have the VM bootstrapped, I have the actual application running. Now I need to introduce it into this global service mesh. And so I could do that pretty simply by just applying some very simple uh, Kubernetes YAML, uh, which are the Istio CRs. So hey, while me, you're doing that, Adam, let me uh, yep. hop in here. And there was a great question, which is, hey, oh, does okay. CSV enable this visibility across uh, cloud providers as well? And the answer is 100% yes. We, we happen to pick two clusters in, in GKE today for this demo because uh, it's easiest. Uh, but I regularly watch Adam do the same one across AWS and GCP as well. Uh, the yep. key thing is we do aggregate the metrics up into wherever the management plane is running. Yeah, excellent, Sorry, excellent point, right excellent right. point. And, and that's going to be the case across not only cloud, but also I mean, pick your own uh, Kubernetes distribution. It could be on-prem, it could be VMware Tanzu, OpenShift, you could be using managed Kubernetes from any cloud provider. The experience will be identical to what you're seeing, seeing here. Yeah, and all the way down into VMs, which Adam is literally about to show us. Yep. Right? Yeah, and so the only reason I want to show you this, you know, somewhat verbose, we, we typically don't want you to have to drop into um, Istio CRs, Istio Custom Resources, but I want to point out that all I did was apply basically the workload entry, which is the Istio config that tells the mesh where my VM lives. Now, all I did was tell the service mesh where my VM is, but nothing's connected. I don't actually have a sidecar running. And I point that out because we have a, a helper command within uh, TSB, within our Tetrate CLI, that actually takes care of that bootstrapping for you. So by executing this tcuddle command, bootstrap my sidecar, I'm, I'm telling it, go to my ratings VM, which is going to be you know, uh, aligned with this. And by executing this, it's going to actually um, inspect the workload entry, connect to that VM, and install the sidecar install all the stuff that's needed to now introduce this uh, virtual machine into um, the mesh. And so that takes just a few minutes. As you see, it downloaded the proxy. It's gonna start that up on the VM. And now it's actually functioning as you would expect any other pod that might be in Kubernetes. Traffic's being subsumed going through that and it's introduced into, into our mesh. And uh, one just thing to note here is that this experience is getting actually even easier, I think in the next release. Uh, even that workload entry you won't need to, to author uh, in that CLI that you execute there uh, is, is automatically generated, assuming you're, you're executing that on the VM itself. Awesome, cool. So we're going to refresh once again. You'll notice I already have a hybrid here in West. In East, this indicates that this is a Kubernetes service, but let me specifically refresh our metrics and refresh our UI. And now it's telling me that East now is hybrid. And so if we go back to our topology view, we'll notice that this is um, you know, now a little VM icon rather than the Kubernetes. Actually, it's both of them, it's half and half because I have, I have kind of a mix, one workload deployed to a pod and the same workload deployed to the VM with traffic going across both of them. Um, and metrics are flowing in so we could ex in, in inspect those same red metrics that we looked at for the other service. And, and Adam just touched on a really, really important idea here, which is, hey, even though our ratings v1 here is deployed in both Kubernetes and on VMs, you're still seeing it once, both, uh, you know, once represented in, in TSB, right? Uh, so we're, we're able to, to say, look, wherever it's running, we understand this is reviews v1. And like Adam showed you, just like you can break down, you know, subsets of a service to see what's wrong, you similarly can break down, you know, is it the VM side, is it the Kubernetes side, uh, and, and all. 